before there's a homecoming moment. I mean, as a senior now, are you kind of, it's kind of bittersweet. It's your last one. Um, I remember, I think, uh, I was a sophomore, maybe a freshman. Uh, it's like the only year that I think that there's going to be a lot of us to walk around at night with all the things we do. I got lost. Like, I mean, there were so many people you couldn't really turn this around and was, uh, That was a fun experience. And then uh, on the field, just knowing, I'm pretty sure it was last year, just one of the first play where you know they ran a screen, which is what Bird does it. They're very effective at And Roger just stripped the ball. It's like ball with like 10 feet in the air. It's just like Tom just froze for a second. I think that set the tempo for the, uh, the tone for the game. So for us, it's just like, man, it just felt good to have those players happen against a great quarterback and great offense at home. And so it was just an experience that's just reflect like on You have a great atmosphere on any game day, but how amped up is it on the homecoming week? Uh, it, it's amped up because, you know, you're getting people from uh, who played here years ago and coming back to see, you know, what's the buzz about, what's going on here, to see what's, what's different about this team from last year. Uh, people are coming back to just, just be a part of what's going on here. So, I mean, it's, it's fun, you know, families coming out, everybody's coming down to see you guys play. So, it's kind of, it's just one of those experiences that's hard to explain. Markel, knowing what uh, RG3 can do and what that offense can do, does that make you watch more film? Does it kind of keep you up at night, worried about what's going to happen possibly? Um, uh, at some point, yeah, but for us, you know, our preparation is key, so we want to go and do a sign for you and watch film you know, two or three times a day. We want to do whatever it takes to, to be prepared, so you just got to find out what, what the guy's looking at, what kind of scheme they're trying to do, and at the same time, uh, stay focused on what you're trying to do, what we're going to do as far as turning over, like maybe physical. So it's just a different approach we take, but understanding that he's a different kind of player. Obviously, he's got a ton of talent, but that entire offense is dangerous. What else, uh, what other type of pressures are they going to Um, Just uh, his ability to a lot of the pocket. And those guys are the speed they have, they can uh, they, they'll run deep. And, you know, most of them, it's, it's normal for a coach guy to just draw everything, and he can't throw this ball at 60 yards, but you know, he can't have a third on his ground. So it's just it's a little pressure to be in his ground coverage a little longer. Um, you know, just wait until the quarterback gets sagging and can't run up for him. There's no lightning up in the coverage. You guys lead the nation in turnovers. You guys work on it so hard in practice. How much of a pride thing is that for you guys, and, and how great is it to see that because you work so hard to do that? Um, you know, sometimes it gets annoying you know, every day, but when you see it, uh, it works for me in the game. You know, you kind of you know, like, okay, this is why we're doing it. It's helping the offense. It's helping the defense. So, you know, take pride in doing it. Uh, regardless of the situation of practice, we, uh, we're trying to take the ball away. We're trying to score with it. We do everything we can to get those turnovers. So, for us, it's more of just, you know, it's, it's just want to have that net for us. You know, to be out there and know that these guys, whatever situation they're going to try to force the turnovers, they got to hold on to the ball, have to take care of it. So, when uh, team scout us, they're going to know that we have to take care of the ball.